tell me the next step is setting. Let's set these bad boys. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Miss Binwa. Yes, or you can call me Ugo, whichever one you want. Today, I am going to be showing you how to look like Lana Kondo for in a black girlfriend new week. Yes, I love Lana Kondo. She starred in the sequel to all the boys I've loved before and to all the boys I've to all the boys I've loved, yes, I still love you or something. You know, the names confuse me, but you guys know the series I'm talking about or the sequel. I absolutely adore her character in that sequel. She's just so, so cute. P.S. Do you guys like my new person nails? These ones are really bad quality and flashy, but it's very bad quality, so please don't ask me where I got them from because they are very, very bad quality. Okay? Do not forget to subscribe to your girl's channel. Yes, click that button. Click, click it. And also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. You can give it a thumbs up right now because I'm sure you're already getting to like me the way I like you. Also click the notification bell to get notified every time I upload a damn video. Yeah, yeah. Let's jump right in. First, I use a sponge. If I had a sink with me, I would literally just dump it in water. First of all, I don't have a sink with me, but if I didn't, I would get up and I would wet my blender because Girl Fix Plus is expensive. So I have wet my sponge. My sponge is already wet because, <laughs> yeah. Maybe I can spare its truth. That's all. We're gonna go in with foundation. So I typically like to use a CC cream. So she uses a CC cream and girl, I do not have a CC cream. So today I'm going to be creating a CC cream. Come on, let's go to the lab. This is the Anastasia foundation. This is the luminous one. And this is my makeup revolution, hyaluronic acid. So I am going to mix these two. Yes, I'm just going to mix them because in my mind, that would be a CC cream. And nobody can tell me nothing. First, we're going to take a palm. One foot. One foot palm might not do nothing, but one and a half, one and a half palm key ingredient to the CC cream. We're going to put the hyaluronic acid. You know, I already told you what it was before. Okay, so we're going to put, you know, drops. Yeah. One, two, that was a very bubbly drop, 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 drop. So we're going to call this the Binwa CC cream. Just, you know, guys, I See? just kind of wing it. I just, you know, put it on my face. It's covering nothing. Get it on there. That's what it's supposed to do. It's not supposed to be heavy. Oh, that's actually nice. And she says, go down your neck. Even she knows. We are going to go into eyes. This BB cream is going to disappear before I am done. <laughs> so the first thing that I'm going to do is I typically just kind of go in with like a, a peachy tone, something similar to my skin tone. Goes in with something like this for her skin shade because that's similar to my skin tone so I'm going to just mix between those two and blend them all the way so she says she has really small eyes that is why she goes all the way up to her brows but I don't have some eye need to do okay I'm gonna use a taupe shade and I'm gonna mix that taupe shade with a little bit of a brown shade work it into my crease I'm going to mix this two together yeah taupe it looks like taupe and brown So now I'm going to use this beautiful bronzy, bronzy color. took a bronzy shade, so now I'm just going to take this one right here. Yeah, yeah. She puts it all the way. She goes all the way up. All the way up. My issue now is how she got into the inner corners because this eyeshadow is actually really good. I clearly went a little crazy. Blend this this baby out. Again, not a makeup artist, just this yeah. is what I do on my everyday. That I love like autumn tones. I obviously wasn't kidding. Eyeliner. I always kind of bring some depth into my waterline. Okay, so she has extensions on and I don't have extensions on. So I'm going to fix lashes, but the lashes I'm going to be fixing are very natural. Can you see them? They, I literally wear them for my everyday makeup looks. See how natural these lashes look? So pretty, I mean. With wings, the only way you can do it is through freaking trial and error. She did like the tiniest wing I've ever seen in my life. Now we're gonna go in for eyebrows. Finally, we are doing brows. This is my brow pencil in the shade True Brown. I'm not reshaping my eyebrows. 
I'm just filling them in. Just like, oh my God, oh my God, it's another stroke. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Concealer. This is in the shade Caramel. Baby girl says she has bags. She should come, let me show her what bags are. Blend that in. She put a lot of concealer as well, you know? And she needs all the help she can get. I freaking need every help I can get. Please tell me the next step is setting. Let's set these bad boys. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I'm gonna use a translucent powder that smells heavenly. Color powder. And I need to do exactly that today. Okay. So I'm gonna go in with a very bright powder. So she went in with a very bright powder that is obviously like really, really bright. So for that, I'm just going to go in with this powder because it's normally brighter than my skin tone. I would never use all over my face. And I'm just going to sweep that under. Yeah. To brighten the eye. I like it. Oh, I like that. Oh, I do. Guys, I'm one of those girls that could bronze till the cows come home. Okay, now let's bronze. Let's bronze. Let's bronze. Let's just do. So basically, we're talking about foundations. You know, you have very, very oily skin. I advise strongly that you use a matte foundation. Cause, girl, if not, <laughs> I'm just gonna put that over my nose. Cause yes, I cheated. Okay, I need to eliminate some of that white cast. You know, here. So I'm just going to use that bronzer because that line is going to remain there. Best believe. She brings it down her neck like this. Why I don't know. I go in with a much darker bronzer. I'm going to go in with this um, CoverGirl Full Spectrum bronzer. Very yeah, lightly. Like that. So I think for her that's like contouring. My lace is misbehaving, but let's, that's beside the point. Hey, 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 yes, girl. Apple. Blush. Ah! She loves blush, and I love blush as well. So we thank God for that. I like to layer my blush first. I'll go in with like a neon, really intense blush. I'm going to go in between these two shades right here. It look like a lot of blush, but one, I don't care. She went ham, and she doesn't care, just like this. And she went in with the blush, like everywhere. Let's put a little highlighter on. We're gonna try not to be crazy, but also we love highlighter. Yeah. Here. First, I'm just gonna line them. She doesn't do nude lips, which I wish really wish, 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 she did right now. So she lined it with like, almost like a red stroke pinkish, you know, lip liner. So I'm just going to take this red lipstick from Black Opal. She said she doesn't like nude lip. Uh-huh, I don't have a pencil as a dress color. So I'm just trying to really diffuse that. Mm. So that way it looks rosy. And then I'm just gonna use this little guy. Just using this gloss now from Smashbox to give it like a nice rosy um, look. Yeah. That really brought the look together. Oh, this looks very rosy. Ooh. Step is to rehydrate my face. So she first goes in with a setting spray. Now I advise you to use something like this because don't forget we did not set our face and set that bad boy mm -mm. so after i set my face i'm gonna use a hydrating spray this is obviously very hydrating and i do love to pack on you know some setting spray just like her so yeah to rehydrate the face girl oh so this guys is the finished look what do you guys think personally i would ditch this for a nude you know, nude lips to really give like the everyday feel. But this is her everyday look and this is how you can achieve it on dark or darker skin. It kind of has like a doll-like look. Like I low-key feel I look like the doll. I actually can see a doll. <laughs> but this is not bad. So I think I did well if I do say so myself. I wouldn't mind doing this look if I didn't have this eye to be honest. Because they look very rosy. Like she said, like you just got kissed like... Mm. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. If 
you enjoyed watching i told you to give it a thumbs up at the beginning but by now you should because you've watched it you stayed to the end that means you liked it so give it a thumbs up okay and i will see you guys in my next one